Do you know how amazing I feel right now? Sweet one! I don't know how this is gonna go. Okay, they're getting pumped up. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Count one, two, three. And don't you stop the music getting to it. Won't you dance with me? Find a place and lose it. You can do it. Won't you dance with me? Move your f down now we let go. Sunset high and a body so morning hello and good morning and happy september 29th it is sunday we are up brain early it is 9 11 um we're gonna wait a minute try again good morning and happy sunday september 29th it is 9 12 in the morning and we are dressed let me show you we got green shirt black shorts this outfit of the day isn't really helping y'all but we're getting ready because we have a huge philanthropy event today, which is Spike Out. It's basically a sand volleyball tournament. I know I filmed this last year for you guys, if you guys watched that one. Just gonna be that again. If you're new here, I am in a sorority on Ohio State's campus, and so we do philanthropy events, which is basically where you raise money for your said philanthropy, and we donate it to help said cause. <laughs> we just need to kind of put on some makeup. I just wanna look somewhat presentable because we're gonna be having a lot of people here, a lot of different teams. I'm filming for our recruitment video, and we're me here so we gotta look kind of cute and then we're gonna make a bagel and then try to head out by like 9 30 9 45 because you guys be there at 10 a.m so let's go do some makeup okay i'm starving let's go get some food oh my gosh guys i haven't even told you literally the best part of today and it's not really like it affects today but it didn't happen today Last night, I got 13, one, three hours of sleep. Do you know how amazing I feel right now? I feel like I could just like run a marathon, like complete an Ironman, do some Pelotonia. 13 hours of sleep never happens to me. I feel like I usually get my normal eight hours and I'm fine with that. Like I can survive, I can live. I feel great after eight hours of sleep. But for whatever reason, yesterday at like 7 p.m., I just shut down. <laughs> I was exhausted. I just wanted to take a nap. But the kicker is I also didn't do anything yesterday. I was supposed to film at least two videos yesterday. Didn't do that. Didn't even do any homework. I literally did nothing yesterday and was exhausted. But I feel like it's just like a mental, physical, everything, emotional exhaustion. And I was tired. So I went to bed and Griffin was like, you know it's 7.30, right? And I said, yes, I do know that. And I'm going to bed. Good night. <laughs> and then I went to bed and woke up at 8 this morning. And I feel great. I feel chipper. And I feel like I'm probably going to be the only one this excited for today's event because it's kind of early. It's not really early, but people are going to think it's early and everybody's going to be showing up. Ugh. And I'm just going to be, what's up, what's up, let's play some volleyball. That's, that's going to be me. But I'm in a good mood. And no one's going to ruin my good mood. We're taking breakfast to go because we need to leave. <laughs> Am I holding your breakfast? If you want to. Okay. <laughs> well, I just almost dropped it. I probably would have cried. We're here with Allison. <laughs> We're going over to the Pie House. I have to pick up my littles and Hannah's little. Brittany's riding with us. And then we're off. I don't even know where we're going. Hello? Middle time. Yeah! <laughs> Hello, Lexi. <laughs> Hello, Brittany. Oh. Say hello. <laughs> Hi, Hello, friend. Rachel. Oh. Ah! I'm awake now. <laughs> All it took was 10 minutes for me to be fully awake. We have giant pong. Let's try this. I don't know how this is gonna go. Ah! Did it go in? <laughs> I rule. <laughs> I play basketball. We're good. <laughs> <laughs> Throw them here. Let me get them all. I just want them all. Okay. If I get these two, it's over. Uh, it! <laughs> I think I jinxed it. I totally jinxed it. <laughs> yes! Uh, I think we have a chance. <laughs> we somewhat have a chance. <laughs> if y'all watched us last year, we did not have a chance because awful. They sucked. Kyle. <laughs> Kyle, if you're watching this, which I know he's not, but. <laughs> <laughs> I promise you he's not watching. <laughs> but this year, our team is Pie Lamb. We go to their box all the time. We love them, love them, love them. Oh. Shout out to David and Ryan who are not on my team because you all suck, but that's fine because we have them. Oh, yes. Look at that teamwork. Oh. Teamwork, oh, oh, okay. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> Chair for AO Pie, so I really thank you a lot, honestly, for coming out and supporting our events. This year already so far, we have tripled of what we made last year overall for our philanthropy. So this is really awesome and thank you so much. Woo! 
Hello! You are so cute! Oh my goodness! This is DU's team. Where's Griffin? He's at work. That's why I was here. Griffin, why aren't you here? Because he sucks. Griffin? I know. I'm upset with you. I know! Come on, DU. Go, DU. Oh, Joey! Can I see your sign? <laughs> That's it. That was yep. you're welcome. And Lexi. I was like, you need to add Lexi on there. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is the last so let's point for you. you. <laughs> yeah, it's who's gonna win. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> they just lost. <laughs> That's game. That's it's fine. fine. Good job, guys. Pylam! We're up on the first court. Okay, they're getting pumped up. They better win. Bitches, we won! Where's Marissa? Mom. She disappeared! Where? Marissa! I did. I'm as zoomed as I can be. I zoomed the zoom. Marissa! Mom! Marissa! Y'all better get this, okay? I don't know what's happening in there. We need to huddle as captains here, ready? <laughs> this is the most awkward huddle I've ever felt in my entire life. <laughs> we're playing team two, but this is our game two. We won the first game, obviously, as y'all know. So now we're getting into the second game. It's double elimination. We haven't been eliminated yet. So I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. We lost. Sad. I'm sad. Going right into game three. We're playing block a flock of flame, but we better win. Update, it's been quite some time. We won the third game against Block of Flock of Flame. Then we played another game, lost that game. But we got pretty far, and now we're chilling. It's almost the finals. Hello, update, it's hot. And bright. And bright. Yeah. And we're done and tired. But now we're going home, and I'll check back in with you in a second. I almost left without closing this video. I actually just finished filming two videos and I just took my lights down, so my camera's still up, but there's no good lighting. But I did want to close today's vlog. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and I hope you had fun watching us again for the second year doing some spike out. It was so much fun. I just love philanthropy events and shout out to Lexi for planning it. She did amazing. The event was amazing. It was so much fun. So snaps to you, sister. So today's notable quote will comes from this picture, which I have on my Pinterest. I will link that down below if you guys want to check out my notable quotable board that's filled with a lot of motivational things but the quote says name one successful woman who got to where she is by scrolling on Instagram depressing herself with other people's fabricated lives and I think that's so important because social media is a fabrication it is fake it is only what that person wants you to see and so you're only seeing the best of the best or those perfect shots those candid but not candid shots those perfectly edited with the perfect filter or preset kind of life on the outside looking in yes it looks glamorous it looks like the most perfect life ever honestly that gets me sometimes when I'm looking at other people's social media and I'm just like why can't I have her life like why can't I have this why can't I have that comparison is the thief of all happiness there's another notable quotable for today I, I don't want to be like that anymore and even I hope that you guys aren't like that with my Instagram I, I only show the best of the best and that's kind of what social media is which is very unfortunate but my life is not what I only show on Instagram and so try not to compare yourself to other people or or wanting what other people's have because you don't know their whole life story, you don't know their background, you don't know that they could be suffering a lot behind the scenes or there's a lot going on that you don't know about and everybody has an untold story. So just keep that in mind when you're scrolling through Instagram. Leave me your own notable quotable down below, an inspirational quote or song lyric or something that just keeps you going on some rough days. That way I can share these at the end of my vlogs every week to hopefully help some other people out, help myself out, help you guys out. But I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe down below for more college vlogs, college videos, basically a whole bunch of college content, and follow me on Instagram for more behind the scenes. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Wait, I got it. Uh.